In this video we're going to be dealing with layouts. When you set up your OpenCart software it comes initially with 11 page layouts. Now just to show you better what I mean I'm going to start at a demo store which is the standard OpenCart uh, store that you get. The layouts work hand in hand with the extensions modules and one of the extensions modules is obviously it's uh, slideshows. So here we have the module enabled on the home page. Another module then is featured and this is enabled here on the home page. Another module then is carousel and this again is enabled on the home page. So just to check out the difference with the layout on the categories, we'll just go into the desktop category here and the layout here on the desktop category, we have the categories module shown here, on left hand navigation and we have a banner here shown the uh, little Hewlett Packard banner. So that's a banner that can be anything of course of your choosing. Uh, this additionally this could be slideshow etc. And uh, this is our categories page and so we have our list of products here on our categories. Now if we go into our products page our layout here again is quite similar. Uh, we've got our categories extensions module enabled here and underneath that we don't actually have a banner. That's all that's uh, set up as a default here for the products page. Let's just have a look at the checkout page. Now on our shopping cart page here, we can see that there's no side navigation at all. And um, that again is just a layout. So again, there's, there's nothing shown on the layout here. Now just have a look in on the wish list page. Again, that's shown the account layout here on the right hand side. Now, just to show you how those are all done, I'm just going to go into the dashboard of our demo store and go to system design layouts. Now here you can see the 11 layouts that come with your open card store. Now if we just go into say account here and edit just to show you. Now this is the location uh, of the file that runs the account layout. You can design your own layouts but creating a, a layout page from scratch uh, takes some knowledge or a little bit of knowledge of web design and development. Certainly if you're a beginner uh, you don't need to worry about layouts as uh, the default layouts uh, system should be good. So the general rule of thumb if you're creating a category then in the design tab you would uh, certainly want to make the layout override here as category. Now you can set up just for instance you can set up a, a default layout for the whole site and control the layout uh, via the modules but it's certainly a lot easier if you do it with layouts say the information pages there's no layout other than the text that you put in um, that is the layout I suppose effectively so you could actually have uh, like a specials banner or a features banner or something at the bottom or at the top or even down the two sides so I'll just show you what I mean by that I'll just uh, put a uh, features banner and specials banner in just to, to give an example of what I, what I mean here I've just gone in and and uh, set those up now and I'm just going to refresh the page here to show you what I mean and there we go now I've put a featured extensions module on the left hand side and I've put a specialist module on the right hand side so instead of using the um, default uh, information page layout I've put a module in so even if you have a default layout set up, you can still change the layout for each individual page via the layout override in the design tab of the particular page. But if you wanted all your information pages to have those two, then you just simply choose the information page layout because those two are now assigned to the information page layout. Now to show you how to do this, I'm going to go over to my own site just to show you an example of how it's done. So the first thing we need to do is just to go into our categories and our first category here is t-shirts. So I'll just go and edit the t-shirts and go to the design tab. Now as you can see I've already set this here as the category design. So whatever design I have set up for category now will be on my t-shirt category page. And over here on the t-shirt category page as you can see I've nothing here at the moment. So into extensions and modules. Now I'm going to go down to the featured module and I'm going to click edit and basically in the featured module here by auto typing our products will start coming up here. Obviously I don't have any products at the moment so it'll be just a blank feature box that I'll be putting in just for the purpose of this demonstration. Now the first thing we see here is limit, limit of five. Now that would just show five products if we put the limit here to five. Image and resize type here is just in relation to the width and the height the image will be displayed. So we're just leaving that 80 by 80 pixels. Um, the layout here 
uh, it's, it, this is shown on the account by default because it's just alphabetically done but we're going to be showing this in our category page now the position content top content bottom left or right so i'm just going to put in content bottom and again the status is uh, i'm going to have that enabled now if this is the first module i'm putting in i'll just put the sort order of one on this then we simply click save here then we go to our storefront then we go into our t-shirts and as you can see we've now have a feature box on our t-shirts so the layout here is assigned basically to the categories so if i just go and create another category uh, make sure that we have our category selected here for our layout override and click save then we go back to our storefront and refresh it or you can click the banner actually to go to your home page on your storefront at any time now as you can see we have hoodies again as we see the featured layout is here i'll give you another example now just by going into the extensions module again and going into our feature product module click edit our layout on the category page the content is on the bottom if we just change that to the left and click save and go back again to our storefront and back into hoodies we have our feature module here on the left uh, likewise that should have changed here for t-shirts it has so if we didn't have our layout override assigned to categories it would either default through to the open cart store setup or if you've cleared everything out via our blank canvas tutorial then it would just be a blank page now as i say the layouts work hand in hand with the extensions module so it's worth just going into the extensions module uh, tutorial just to show you the various uh, modules and what they do and the layouts and the setup of those modules